Okay, the last of the joint orient sessions um, is going to look at how to um, get yourself out of trouble using aim constraints. Um, uh, this is quite a, um, a, a sort of old manual technique. Um, now that we've got the you know the comet weights and all that, um, that's quite easy to do it that way. But um, I, I think it's important to know how to do it this way. Um, you understand what's going on um, with the joints. You understand um, how to get yourself out of trouble uh, and. Uh, manually set up a, a, a really good well aligned joint. So ultimately this is the uh, joint chain um, so it's almost simulating a, um, a leg, um, thigh, knee, ankle, toe. Okay, And as you can see um, the top one um, now in terms of the, the plane, if I look down the joint chain you can see that the plane goes in, in this direction here. Uh, and also I've just uh, set up um, a polyplane so that you can see um, literally where that plane is. It's in line um, with that joint chain. So um, wherever I rotate that top leg um, I'm always maintaining um, the plane itself and that's ultimately what um, your IK works out, your legs, um, your arms that have hinge joints, Gen generally, thin generally anything with a, with a hinge joint, so fingers, um, even your torso, um, you know, belly, chest and, and neck joints, they will need to work in that, in that all aligned to the same so I just thought I'd uh, set that up just so that you can visually see what I mean by the plane. So I look down the um, the joints there, um, and in fact my the top joint seems nicely aligned. Um, but as I go down to the knee, um, the alignment is way off. The ankle is way off. Um, but ultimately, when I get back to the toe, um, it's they are still in the plane. Okay, um, so literally with aim constraints um, we need um, two objects to aim at. Um, so for example, if I'm going to uh, realign this one, I will aim the X down the chain, so the X will be aiming um, at this joint, just like that one is correctly there. Um, but then I need um, um, I need another object to align one of the secondary axes to, so that's either the, the Z or the Y. Um, and I know for a fact that um, this, um, this toe joint seems to be aligned correctly. So I'm going to use that as the, as the uh, secondary aim object. So I've just made a duplicate, um, pulled it away uh, in space in the local axes so I know that it's again still aligned with the plane and that's that's important. Uh, unparent it uh, um, and I'm going to delete that uh, the end joint um, I don't need that uh, I just need this object to aim the secondary axis too uh, and just for ease I will call this test. Okay. So now I've got two objects to, to aim at. All right. Um, first thing um, before setting up the aim constraints is to unparent the joints. Um, so literally I'm going to realign these two joints. Um, and then also what I need to do is reset everything back to zero. So my joint orients reset back to zero, make sure there's no rotations and same for the other one, um, see that rotations out there and rotate those back to zero. Okay. Now by doing that I've realigned the joint, uh, each joint back to the back to the world. Okay so literally before I do the aim constraints 
I'm realigning it back to the world so that there are no values on rotate or joint orient. Okay, so it's like a vanilla um, joint. Okay, so now with this one, I'm going to aim the x-axis towards this joint and then the secondary axis of y I'm going to aim at this one called test. Okay, so let's set that up. So with, with constraints you always select the driver first and then um, the one being driven or, or the child second. Okay, And go uh, constraint aim, let's bring up the dialog box. So I'm going to aim the x um, so the main aim vector, uh, these channels are always x, y, z. So x um, is being aimed at that joint. And the world up type, um, so let's just say if I reset the settings. Okay. So it, it generally resets at vector. Um, so the world up type, I'm going to aim at an object. And that object um, is this joint here. Okay. And that object, what is that world up object? Um, I called it test. So again, it's make sure you type that in, it's case sensitive. And I'm going to aim the y axis towards that object called test. Uh, maintain offset is off because I want the joint to literally um, position uh, correctly. So click on apply. And there you can see that the x is aimed down that, uh, towards that joint and the Y is aiming um, towards this object here okay um, and the reason that uh, Y is going down is that the main the main axis being aligned is X so literally Y is just sort of rotated towards this this position of, of this other object okay um, so once that's that's done, um, I'll just close that down. Um, that joint will now, if I expand it in the outliner, will have the aim constraint node. I can delete that. I just used it for uh, alignment. Okay, uh, and you can see when I select the joint, those values are in the rotate. Now I don't want that. I want those to be zero. So literally, you copy those values to the joint orient x y z okay and then you can zero those out okay um, so you're absorbing those rotations with your joint orient it allows the rotate values to remain at zero and the joint is correctly oriented okay um, so that's what we've got there so let's do the second one this one, uh, I want to aim the X at this joint here. So this is the main driver. Uh, shift select that object. Again, constrain aim. And I'm going to aim, the main aim is, is X being aimed at that object. But I'm also using the other uh, object called test, which is this one, to aim the Y at. Okay, Click on apply. Make sure maintain offset is off. And there we go again. Um, so the Y is aimed in that general direction, but really the main axis is, is the X. So I can close that down. Select that object. Delete the aim constraint. No longer need that. Uh, that was just there for alignment. And again, I've got those rotate values. Let's feed them into the joint orient. OK and I can then zero the rotations out. So there we go. Um, if I um, select all those joints, Y is facing this way and Z is always facing towards the left. Okay. All right. Um, delete this one. I only used it as the secondary aim. Don't need it anymore. And then literally I can um, parent everything back up and you will see that it's done correctly I've only got translate X and no values anywhere else so everything is now aligned correctly in that plane okay 
Um, and that's what joint uh, orientation is all about.